Gary, uh, Gary Shanley's here tonight. Gary is one of the more innovative uh, comedians working, and he just finished four years of his own show on Showtime Cable Network. Would you welcome Gary Shanling? <laughs> They had your theme song ready and everything. Vernon is still back there going around in circles. Running around, yes. <laughs> Try to shake his hand if you think that's easy. <laughs> He's probably out in the parking lot by now. I Whoop. walked, I walked by him, I, I broke my leg, that's what this is, and I walked by Vernon and he just went, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, One Vernon, of us, huh? it's not an invention. <laughs> <laughs> he thought you'd stole his invention already, huh? This is a, it's a stupid sandal I have to wear. It is the same thing. I guess we ought to talk about this right away since it's, it's sitting right in front of well, us. Well, we, uh, we don't have to. No, I didn't mean to bring that. it up no, so quickly. Let's do I, I don't ever what happened? Know, really want to talk. Dude, this is very rushed. Normally, when I go to someone's house, we sort of. Say hi, and you want, to, want some dip and cheese yeah, or something? Yeah, but we have to keep going and talk about this, don't we? Yeah, sure we the, do. Uh, well, first of all, I would like to say my show's over, and uh, it was what a happened good is show. you were going to bring... The, oh, yeah, like you watched. <laughs> so, uh, you know what, you did 70, 72 shows, seven, <laughs> didn't you? People always go, yeah, I watched your show. I go, yeah, yeah. Sure yeah. You did. <laughs> the uh, 72 shows, four years, um, same as college. It's a lot like college, actually. Because I, I, I don't know what to do now, actually, and the show has prepared me for nothing. It's just like college. <laughs> In, in fact, I went to the unemployment agency and I said, uh, well, I'm looking for something about a half hour a week. And, uh, I said, well, and, and big bucks. <laughs> and, and, and moderate bucks. <laughs> big bucks are not necessary. Moderate bucks. So I finally I, I finished the show and, uh, you know, four years, very hard work. And then uh, I decided to go to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I mean, this is, this is just great. And I end up breaking my leg in Hawaii. I went with my girlfriend who has had to drive me uh, everywhere because I can't really drive with this thing. And, and she is so aggressive on the freeway. I actually see how freeway shootings happen because I, no, I took a shot at her myself the other day. I said, honey, get off my back. So, so um, would you like me to tell you about this? Or I, hope, I was hoping you would. I thought so. So, uh... So we go, to, we go to Hawaii, you know, and my girlfriend and I... Um, Any particular reason you chose Hawaii yet? You know, I, I love Hawaii. Next to the valley, I think it's the prettiest spot in the world. <laughs> and, um, I've never equated the two, but you have a point there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, they, they both have their pluses and minuses. Right. Uh, but if I, if I talk about them, people around the country won't know what's in the valley, so those, they would be wasted. Right. So, uh, but it is... <laughs> Johnny, I haven't been on TV in two months. Give me a break. Okay. So, <laughs> so, uh... So, oh, I love Hawaii, and we went to Hana, which is a very remote village, and uh, there's about a thousand people there, and it's very relaxing. And they have uh, a, a few stray dogs running around that people take turns feeding, and my girlfriend decided to adopt three stray dogs during our vacation there. So it was delightful. They were in our hotel room, and it was really special. So, because uh, we have three stray dogs. Of course, are you, are you still doing the Alpo ads? Yes, I am. Well, so you would have been in, in heaven. So... <laughs> We, on the other hand, had no Alpo, so we're ordering room service and whatnot for the dogs. So, so, my girlfriend, you know, my girlfriend and I have a, a golden retriever, and the, and in the, va the Fuji blimp came over my house. This is just literally three weeks ago. The Fuji blimp comes over my house, and, and the dog free, and I've never seen the Fuji blimp at any major sporting event. I don't know what this thing does. I think it's spotting land for the Japanese. Yeah. I, think, I think they see a vacant lot, they call Tokyo, and they come and they, and they buy it. So, uh, I think that's what that is. So, um, we're in Hawaii, and, and, and we have these dogs, and we decide to go sightseeing. So I said, okay, we'll go in the car. We're going to go see all these waterfalls and everything. And my girlfriend says, well, we'll take the dogs with us, these three stray dogs. I said, no, 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 we're not taking the dogs in the car. So I put the dogs in the car. <laughs> because otherwise you got that whining for the sure, next half hour. So, so uh, you know, my girlfriend will start whining to the point where the dogs will say, put her out. So... <laughs> I think you know what I mean. Yes, I don't I know do. if you've ever Certainly gone through do. that. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> my girlfriend took the end of my show well. She said, there'll still be some checks coming in, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, um, I said, yeah, I'm doing Romance a Tonight Show. Leave, she yeah. said, no, I mean some real checks. <laughs> so, so, now we load these dogs into the car, right? 
So now we're going out, we're about like 10 miles out of Hana, which is in the middle of nowhere to begin with. Now there's this place, there's this waterfall. She says, let the dogs out of the car. I'm sure they'll stick around. <laughs> I don't know what she was thinking. So we open the car door, we're in this field, and of course these dogs just scatter. In three different directions they take off, just like, like, like dogs getting out of a car. Yeah. <laughs> dogs can't wait to get in the car and they can't wait to get out. Now, now we're in this field 10 miles from nowhere. There's, these dogs have scattered. I don't want to leave these dogs in this field because they don't know where they are. They don't know they've been in a car and they're 10 miles away. It's like a fly that would get in an airplane. You land somewhere else. The fly flies out. It goes, where the heck am I? This is, I was flying all five hours and now it's very, very cold. So, thanks, Ed. So, so I start chasing this one dog, right? This one dog is an Australian Shepherd, takes off about a quarter of a mile out in another field. There are these cows and a bull, so help me, in the middle of nowhere. And this dog makes a beeline for this bull. Like an idiot, I start running after the dog because I don't want to leave him here. I don't even know what the dog's name is. My girlfriend has nicknamed the dog Shep. So I'm yelling, Shep, 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 and I'm running. And, and evidently the bull was named Shep. Because it... <laughs> so help me, he's like... I'm coming, and it, it comes, starts coming at me. Now I turn and start running full steam. It's turning into a Jerry Lewis movie right, at this right. point. I mean, I'm yelling Dean, and I don't know hey, anyone named Dean. Yeah. Yeah. Dean! <laughs> Evidently, the dog was named Dean because it finally came to me. So now, so I grab the dog because I don't, I don't want the dog to turn, make a circle and run the other way. So now I'm running with the dog, you know. And as I'm running up this hill in this high grass, Unbeknownst to me, underneath this grass is a hole, a big, deep hole. There was Chinese coming out of it. That's how deep it was. <laughs> My dad always said, you dig the, the other earth, side, you right. come out in China. I said, does Pan Am know about this yes. route, Dad? That would say no. <laughs> so, uh, in an effort... What are they applauding at there, Johnny? <laughs> are they they haven't seen you for a long time. <laughs> And they're just realizing that's, it now. That's right. They're going, oh, that's the guy. Uh, that's right. Well, I probably threw him off by saying I had a girlfriend. That's they're going, right. oh, I like his old stuff. Right. So, shall I continue? Sure. Because... <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I fall into this hole, my leg twists, and in an effort not to let go of Shep, I just hit the ground and do one of those, oh boy. you know snapping things. Although I didn't hear anything snap over my screaming. You know, I was... Hard to hear that. Oh, yeah. I was drowning out. everything out. Absolutely drowning everything out. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got blurred, blurred that blurred vision, you know, and I started to see, like, spots and old reruns of my show. <laughs> so, so, um, we go to the one doctor who's in Hana, who will be watching now, Dr. Clark and Hana, who is seeing this baby for the first time oh. out of the cast. And uh, he did a great job, although uh, he has, they have one doctor, one room, and a new x-ray machine that they had an instruction manual for, <laughs> and turned it to ankles and lined it up, and, and, and then Dr. Clark came in and traced my foot on a piece of paper, so I didn't know if I was getting sandals or a cast at that point, <laughs> and sent me, and sent me uh, back to L.A., where uh, I um, saw a um, sports doctor. Yeah. Uh, who is used to seeing this kind of injury, but usually associated with some kind of athletic event, you right. know? <laughs> so he said, well, how did it happen? And I said, well, you know, I was uh, running from a cow with a dog under my arm. And... The typical... Uh... Yeah, he said, oh, Shep. <laughs> so evidently this dog... Travels everywhere. This dog causes uh, a lot of uh, major, major uh, problems. And uh, actually, my girlfriend wanted to bring Shep back. Yeah. Which, and that's where I drew the line, actually. Yeah. Is, this, Shep, yes, is this the same girl that you were going with the last time I saw you? Yes, it is. Oh, she's nice, she be a nice young lady. Yes, someone applauded, I, and she's not, I know she's not in the audience. The, <laughs> yeah, she is. She's, she's terrific, and, uh, and I think she's happy that I'll be driving soon. And, uh, you know, um, yeah. what can I tell you? Well. Her biological clock is running along. Ticking is in. Ticking? We're on the snooze alarm. <laughs> <laughs> we just keep hitting that baby every 10 minutes or so. It's good to see you again. It's great to see you. We'll take a break. We're coming right back.